chognam la janchu bardu dagni kyapsu chi daki chunyen gipe sonam ki drola penchir sangye drupa shok sangye chadang sogi chognam la janchu bardu dagni kyapsu chi daki chunyen gipe sonam ki drola penchir sangye drupa shok Sangye Chirang Soki Choknam La Janchu Bardu Dagni Kyapsu Chi Dagi Chunye Gipe Sonam Ki Rola Penchir Sangye Jupar Sho Hi, hang on one second. Uh, 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 and speaking of uh, San Diego, check out what I got. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Just came well, in. Let me, let, me, let me see. Let me see. What's that all what about? What is that? Some kind of super oh. octa high octane coffee. Coffee. Oh. Cool. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I won't uh, delay anymore. Uh, did you get the new version from this morning, Ben? Did. Okay. Yes. Good. Thanks. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Progress for Mr. Kramer. I mean, we see your uh, screen, Geshla. Uh, that would be intelligent. Uh, let me see. Okay. Better? Almost. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Th basically, to make a long story short, we can finish this text this term. And then the big pressing question is where Dr. Kramer wants to go next. And I will pretty much agree to whatever you want to do because then you'll put your heart into it so uh, i'll leave it up to you but you should tell me soon so i can prepare it in case i think we're gonna get to a few classes of that uh, i'm i'm pretty excited about the about the um promet of Artica commentary all right i'm sold okay yay I, I was actually dreaming about it this morning <laughs> so <laughs> i thought well okay that seems to be what we're supposed to do that's special. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can tell you stories about the author, which would be fun. I would love All that. Right. Uh, yeah, and your finished book will be about 300 pages, and we can start on it immediately after the term. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, we, we had started a list. Uh, he's he, as Ben. By the way, Ben is somebody who finished his translation on time, and did a good job, and sp obviously spent time on it to make it correct. And I really appreciate that, Dr. Kramer. And I wish you could infect the other uh, professors here, uh, many of whom didn't do much of anything. Uh, so anyway. Uh, I really appreciate that you did your you did it on time, and you are certainly earning your salary, and I think that's a good thing. All right, mm. and we we talked about he he's going to present the Buddhist path according to the Consequence School, Upper Higher Middle Way School, and now he's agreed to take to describe the details of that path, and I think he was in a hurry, uh, personally. He feels like he was in a hurry to get the book done. Probably he had to, Udpala's past life was demanding to edit at a certain time or something. So uh, he, he takes off on the 37, Chang Chok So Dun. And, and I was always taught 37 limbs of enlightenment. Uh, but and then I assumed these were qualities of a Buddha at a Buddha 
at a Buddha level, right? At the 10th uh, or 11th Bodhisattva Bhumi. And, and I, and lately I've realized it doesn't mean that at all. And uh, it doesn't, these are not qualities of a Buddha. These are Chang Chok, Chang Chok. So dun, right? So dun, okay? And uh, Chang Chu. I, now I think we should read it Chang Chu to Chok Bei. Uh, be, uh, I don't know. Uh, Chupa Sodun. Chupa Sodun. I think we should read it this way. Uh, so that it doesn't mean the 37 qualities that exist in the direction of Buddhas, like in Buddha paradises. I take chok to be a verb. Mm -hmm. the, the 37 activities which head you towards enlightenment. Okay. And and I'll and I will and I will support that opinion with a lot of quotations I found for you. And I thought it because basically what he does because he seems to be in a rush to finish his first book and get to the to the Dharma Kirti, uh, it seems like he doesn't explain things that he should have explained, and he also missed the first four. And I don't think it was on purpose. And I think somebody left it out or something. So we covered that already. But I think we should beef up the, the rest, some of the other groups of the 37. I think we should beef them up with some footnotes or something. Because we, we also, we have a few versions. I mean, just you asked me to go looking. We have a few different versions of this text and it is missing from all of them. Yeah. Now, and I don't think it's intentional. I, I, I really don't think it's intentional. He, he has not, I, I can't see any logical reason why they, he should have left them out. Because at the end of his presentation of the 37, he says, these are to be practiced by both the Mahayana and the Hinayana. Uh, so it's not like the first four are somehow too basic or something. Uh, so, you know, there may be some deeper reason why he left them out. So in our footnote, we have to say something like, you know, maybe he has a deeper reason, but anyway, this is the 37 minus four. Okay? Yeah, and we covered the first four already in our last class. So uh, we're gonna, uh, and there's the, there's the, there's the guilty line. Right. Uh, and we're going to pick up now, and I put numbers here for groups of so five to eight, nine to 12. Okay. And the ones that need beefing up, I beef them up. And uh, let's, let's do that. Cause I think it'd be more, the book will be more meaningful for our, our readers. If we give them some details that would allow them to actually practice this stuff, you know, Okay, so here we go. Who's your checker appointee? Yes, um, who's in this room? Um, Su Gang, you want to pick people? Yay. Okay. Thanks. Okay, okay let's uh, get Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Tekpa Che Chung Ni Tang Tumong We Lam Ni Mi Gewa Ma Kieba Mi Kiebe Yang Dak Pongwa Pongwa De Shindu Kie Sim Pongwa Gema Kiepa 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 Kie Sin Belwar Jepe Yang Dak Pongwa De Yang Dak Pongwa Shi. Yeah. Uh, you can translate this, and by the way, oh, you know what's one possibility with this uh, missing four? Uh, he introduces this first group of his yeah. by describing it as uh, common to shared by both uh, the Hinayana and the Mahayana. Maybe the first four are are exclusively Hinayana. Boy. I never heard of that. There shouldn't no, really yeah, be. Yeah, I, I don't think so either, but. Yeah. 
and he wraps up this section by uh, uh, repeating that the ones he has listed are common to the to both vehicles. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. You can translate this. You don't need me. Okay. Well, so he just said, um, uh, right. The what you said, right? These are both shared with the the higher and lower vehicles. These are sh the the ones we did, or no, the ones that are coming now are shared yeah. with the higher yeah. and lower vehicles that are coming now. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, um, Migewa Makeba. Oh, oh, not giving, um, rise to, uh, yeah, uh, not, not getting new bad qualities. Yeah. Uh, not, uh, getting into new bad karmas, bad habits that you haven't got into yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. You're totally getting rid of the ones you do have. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as far as the good side of things. Yeah, um, yeah, get a bunch of good qualities. That you? Um, that you uh, don't yet have, that you good. haven't yet even Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. And? Um, and then um, uh, uh, pretty up, spiff up uh, the, the good qualities that you do have. Yeah, good, good. So now say it again in a smooth way. Okay. I got four uh, perfect abandonments. Okay, I don't know. I got four perfect give ups for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They're called Yanda Pongashi. Okay. okay. As a group. As a group. So um, give up your the bad qualities that you have. Give up the bad qualities that you don't have i mean don't it's not an abandonment yet right you're just giving up yeah, getting yeah. It. it's just the name of the four is the four give ups uh -huh. but they're not all give ups uh, no okay so the first one is give up the miguelas that are makepa okay give up the bad qualities you don't have yeah, give up the bad habits you haven't developed yet. <laughs> bad habits you were planning to develop. Yeah, good. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I was going to pick up smoking this afternoon, but I'll pass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, um, give up the bad qualities you do have. Good. Um, give, give rise, take up the good, good qualities you don't yet have. Good. And? and uh stick to um or enhance uh um re reinvest in the good qualities you do have yeah good uh, maybe it would be tempting i would be tempted to translate the group as yan dog dung pong or something because mm -hmm. you know? uh -huh. uh, because only two of them are pongos technically uh -huh. okay, okay. Cool. So anyway, that's the first group of the 37 qualities that head you towards enlightenment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he calls them the Yandak Bongwas. That's okay. They, they're traditionally called Yanda Bongwashi. Yeah. Uh, but only two of them are Bongwas. Two of them are Kipas. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. Okay. Next group. Uh, who's who's Tang -tang? the gang? Who's checking? Tang Tang? Yay, Tang Tang. Yay. Dunpei Zutro Gi Gyangba. Gangba. Uh huh. Tsundru Gi De Sem Gi De Dang Jepe Zutro Gi Gangba De Shi. Okay, these are called Zutru Gi Gangba Shi, which is the four legs of miracles okay the four okay. legs of miracles uh, what are they the first one is called dumba mm. i don't Aspire have mineral aspires miracles yeah you can say aspiration okay aspiration the second one is effort yeah by the way the day means i don't want to repeat zutuki kangba okay yeah okay it just means the you know what of Tsundru. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, that's that, when you see day after key, that's what it always means. Okay. okay, sure. okay. And then there's the semki day. Uh huh. The mind of miracle, miracle legs. Yeah, and then there's the chippe day. Uh huh. The uh, action of miracle limbs, legs. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in this particular case, my assertion is that he hasn't given us any clue of what these are that we uh, could practice. Agreed. And uh, I think we should footnote this group mm -hmm. and any other group which is obscure. Mm -hmm. uh, Keshla, isn't that Chippa analysis? I'm sorry, you're totally correct. She's totally yeah. correct. Uh, yep. It's just the Chippa of analysis, yep. Uh, so I went and got your commentary. This is Kedup Demba Dargye which is uh, Su Gang's friend. And uh, I caught the page number for you, but I don't want you to start there, okay? Yeah. I want you to start at the dollar signs. I just did this part for the page number, okay? Uh, and it's a beautiful uh, explanation of these four, okay? So let's go. Okay. Um, oh, who's, who's checking, again? Oh, was that? I, let me see. How about Adam? De Chen Sun Ba, Ding In Zin, Yong Su, Jong Wei, Lam Zu Chu, Gi, Gang Ba, Shi Yi De. Okay, translate. Um, What's De Chen Sun Ba? Uh, I'm going to say it's, oh, Deten Sumba, uh, I don't know, the three, De these. Deten means group. Okay, yeah, this, oh, this third, third group. group. It's the third group yeah, within the third, the third group. seven exactly. things that direct you to enlightenment. Yeah, exactly, nice. So, so far we've had one set of four, and then we had another set of four, right? Mm -hmm. And now we got another set of four. So this cool. is going to be eight through 12, something like eight, nine, sorry, nine, 10, 11, 12. And he defines Zuchuki Kangba, which has this weird name of the legs of, you know, miracles as path for Zhongwaing your Tingenzin. Uh, yeah, for... Um... Uh, make, make, make it good. I mean, for training yourself in meditation. Yeah, exactly. These are methods for training yourself uh, or, or methods for perfecting mm -hmm. your concentration. Okay. So he already, he helped us yep. and now he's going to define each one, which is really beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Uh, yeah, now tell me what's a sem tse chikpa la rekpa? Sem tse, it's a, is it a, sem tse, is it a single pointed? Yeah. Yeah. Sem, and you want to rekpa it. Uh, rekpa. Like the stick link. Make contact? Yeah. contact. Yeah, you want to make contact uh, with a single pointed state of mind. Okay. Oh. How to how to climb up to and and encounter directly single pointed mind. Okay. How to make contact with this alien state of mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. How to touch. Uh, a one point in state of mind, okay? Uh, and then each each one is the same thing. Each one is semtse chikpa la rekpa. Each of the four is an attempt to rekpa semtse chikpa, but through different methods, through different methods, okay? So tene means by, by employing, tene means by employing what? Ding and zin. Meditation. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
which in itself involves an aspiration uh -huh. uh, for the antidotes of the five problems, okay? The okay. antidote. And here you got a footnote, the footnote. Yeah. And we're gonna have five problems and eight antidotes, right? This is the classic meditation. Yeah. So you're gonna have to mention the five problems okay. and the eight antidotes. And I went and got you. Uh, I went and got the five for you just for fun. Good. Okay. Yeah. In, in a classic scripture. This is just to capture the page number. Uh, let's now let's read this footnote to the footnote. Good. Start with Ying and Zin. Who's the Here Lon Hopped? Okay, Lon Hop. Uh Ting and Zin Gompe uh Nyepa de la Nga Yute. Good. Um Ting and Zin Gompa La Jukpe Nga Roll Du Lelo Nyepa Jukpe Tse Dam Ngak Jepa Nyepa. Good. Uh Gom Shimbe Tse Ring Gunyepa. Um and Ching Chongwe Tse Nyembo uh Mumpar Dumi Jepa Nyepa. And one more. Uh Ting in Zen Kyun Me Du Nepe Tse Nyembo uh Mumpar Du Jepa Nyepe Nyepa Yimbe Chir. Good. All right. So translate. Uh Ting in Zen Gombe Gek Nga. Yeah, uh, the five obstacles to meditation. Yeah, when we say problems of meditation, yepa, he's yepa. giving you in a positive to explain yeah. the word okay. problem. Uh, uh -huh. Problems in the ob sense of obstacles. Okay. Nice. Yeah, problems in the sense of obstacles. Here they are. Uh, oops. Uh, let's go here. Uh, okay. All right. Number one. Uh, there's number one. Yeah. Um, I mean, it should be forgetting, right? So, um, uh, not yet, not yet. Oh, oh, Layla, oh, lazy. There it is. Sorry, lazy. Layla. Okay. Yeah. Um, now he does a cute thing, which is why I chose this, uh, yeah. which is why I chose him for your footnote. Yeah. He defines the point in your practice when you get them. He mentions them in the definition. So when oh, does Lelo happen? Like before you even engage in the practice of meditation? Yeah, before your ass hits the meditation cushion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You got the first. You got the first obstacle. Yeah. Is, you don't feel like meditating today, but definitely you're gonna do it tomorrow. Don't worry. Uh -huh. We know this is where they start, not where they stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two. Okay, um, yeah, uh, Jupet, oh, yeah, uh, Jupet said, um, uh, not Japan, yeah, which is, um, yeah, I don't know the Tibetan, uh, like, I'm, I'm, I, oh. I don't, I'm not totally getting it, but it, it, it should mean forgetting, yeah, Japa means forget, right? Okay, Japa, and okay. Dhamma means the instructions, forgetting the instructions, and right. uh, I'm gonna learn. We're gonna learn something else about that after this little vignette, okay? That happens once you start meditating. Once exactly, you nice, nice, nice. After you started meditating. So I, I love it that he's defining where do they happen? When do they happen? In his definition of them, he's giving us when they happen, okay? Now, kom shinbetse, present participle. While you're meditating? Yeah, while you are meditating, then you get jinga. Yeah, chingwang gopa, um, agitation and uh, dullness. Yeah, good, good. Uh, nowadays, I sometimes I call it distraction and sleepiness or something, or uh -huh. busy mind and sleepiness. Right. In this year. Sleepiness. Sure. Okay. Uh, number four. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. When, <laughs> um, once those have arisen. Good. Um, uh, then you have the problem of uh, not doing anything about them. Yeah, not applying the antidote. Yeah, 
Number, uh-huh. number two chepa means to actualize or turn on the antidote, okay? Uh-huh. And then number five, uh, you, you should read, you should read them so Tim can, can complain. Oh, sure. uh, we did, didn't we? Oh, I'm sorry. We did. Okay. No. That's right. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Take um, your time. Take your time. Take your time. I got good coffee from CG. Oh, oh well, this is the fifth. So um, when um, at uh, at the time when you're hanging out in meditation and you don't have any problems. Good. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Um, then and, you have the problem of applying an antidote. Um, yeah. That you that you don't need, although he doesn't say that. But then you have the problem of applying an antidote. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's like fixing it when it ain't broken, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then I have included his inclusion of the original verses. Cool. Okay, because it gives us a clarification of one of the five, which is very necessary. Okay, let's read this verse. Who, so gang, who you got to criticize him while he's reading the verse? Akahasi Sama. What? Takazi Sama. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh Lelo Dang Ni Dam Nak Nam J Dang Ching Tang Gopa Dang uh Dumi J Dang Du J De Didak Nye Pang Ardo Shesume Chir. Oh I'm sorry, it doesn't clarify it. I'm right. sorry, it doesn't clarify it. Uh, I wanted a clarification of the second one, which is. Oh, um, uh, forgetting the instruction. Which is actually. Forgetting the object or maybe even forgetting that you were meditating at all. (laughs) Yeah, you lose the object. Uh, So that's a traditional, I guess, oral instruction that forgetting the instructions means losing the object which your Lama assigned to you. Okay, so you still catch the uh, instruction part, but it means uh, your your mind is totally gone off the object. Okay, all right. Uh, How original is this? Do we think this is Kamala Shila or Asanga or Lord Buddha? I'm guessing it's Gomrim. Gomrim. Okay. Uh, but we could you could look it up. But I, now I don't think we should add it because it doesn't help. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, if you remember, we were trying to explore the four legs, the four miracle legs, uh-huh. which are actually methods of developing your concentration. Right. And the first one was called uh, trying to reach single pointed mind by applying the antidotes of the five problems. Okay. So we yeah. finished that one. Okay. Now we got to this, we're going to the second leg. Okay, the second miracle leg. Okay, everything else was just a detour. And that was that was aspiration. That was all about dun. Yeah, yeah, and and dun is important here. Actually, it's aspirational meditation, aspirational concentration. Uh huh. Now here's the second one, uh, way down here. Okay, read this one. Okay, uh, Tsundru Latene Semtse Chikpala Rekpatang. Yeah, making contact with single pointed state of mind through effort em- by employing Tsundru. Yeah, okay, and he doesn't mention the five problems there. So, problems go with the first one. Okay, now how about the third one? Sembe Tingenzen, Nun Tingenzen, Gomba, Kyop Topla, Tene, Semse, Chikpara, La Rekpatang. Yeah, and if you think carefully, you can get this one, but it's difficult. First of all, I want to say I checked many references, and the Semba here is not a Chungchu Semba. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's just um, a master in general, 
okay, like a spiritual warrior, okay? It doesn't mean bodhisattva here, okay? Uh, and, okay, if the emphasis of the first leg is aspirational, yeah, the emphasis of the second leg is working hard. I got it. I and got the it. emphasis of the third one is? Is the, the because of the qualities of meditation that do come about, that you do achieve. Quieto. Quieto. That's the crucial word here. Quieto. You, you apply the effort. Oh, you do it. I mean, it should be the achievements that you get in meditation, right? I think it refers to past life. That you already oh. have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it could be what you have developed, I guess. I mean, that would be a classical antidote, right? That we apply to laziness, right? Is um, yeah. right in the sense of Xinjiang, right? I think. I think. I. Uh, I think I'm going to read this. This. Uh, I don't think it's past life. Uh, although keto is usually it's keto. Uh, what is it? Uh, Samto gomto. Uh, let's check it. Uh, check, check. Is it past life? Okay. Okay. Or or is it uh, which you have developed? Okay. Okay. I, We'll yeah, I think we got to check it. Okay. I was when I first read it, I was thinking, oh, he's talking about uh, linking into meditational habits from your past life. But maybe it's not. Isn't it linking into your meditational habits that you just developed through the previous? Yeah, time? it could be that. It's either that or that. Okay. And uh, yours is more logical. Your Your progression is more logical. Yeah. Yeah, but as Adam says, right, Kieto um, Kishera in the chat here, right? It yeah. Directly it refer always, to the wisdom it your always means from past life. Right. Yeah. yeah. So let's, let's look up other commentaries. I'll give you that as an assignment, okay? Cool. Yeah. Uh, and see if anybody said Kewangama Ne Topa or something like that, okay? Okay. Or, or whether they said Sunduki Ke Topa. You see what I mean? Uh, all right. Okay, number four. Okay. Chope Tingen Zin, Shangi, Sembe, Churab, to Nam Bar, Nam Jep, La Tene, Semse, Chipa, La Rekpa, Pongwe, Duje, Ke Tong, Dembe, Tingen Zin, Du Togi, Gangba, Shi, Be, Chir. Good. Uh, so now we have uh, activity concentration, right? Analysis. Uh, analysis. Yay, that was a trick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, analysis uh, concentration. Shengi Dembe Chu, the Dharma teachings which you get from others, okay? The Dharma teachings which you get from others. Raptu Namche, you vibanga, right? You uh, tear them apart mentally, okay? Okay, yeah. Sure. And then due to that, you are able to get to a single pointed state of mind, okay? So okay. you get to a single pointed state of mind of an of through analysis of what you've been taught by other people. Okay. Cool. This fourth single pointed state of mind results from uh, analyzing what you've been taught in class. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if that's gonna affect this keto. Okay. I don't know. Uh, now, uh, uh, I read it to equal, okay? Equals a, this equals a kind of concentration where you have learned from your teacher to apply the duche ge. Okay, the eight antidotes. The eight antidotes, exactly. Okay, so I, I take it as an equational sentence, okay? Uh, this, when we say, you tear apart the teachings you got, it refers specifically to the teachings you got on the eight antidotes. Okay. Uh, and you and you and you rip those apart. Okay. Okay. And what would be next to put in your footnote? Uh, the eight antidotes. 
Yeah, I, I got it for you. Okay. okay. Let's read this. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, let's just start with one through four. Okay. Lelo Niembor Tsundru Gyudre Gyundre Shi. Yeah, now he's given a new name yeah. to the four classic antidotes to Lelo. Yeah. The reason there's five problems and eight antidotes is that you got three extra antidotes for the first problem. Okay, the reason it's not five and five is that there's three extra antidotes for the first problem. Yeah. The first problem has four antidotes of its own, okay? And they go in a flow. They, one leads to the next, okay? I like to compare them to... Uh, meeting your high school girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it really happened, I can remember. <laughs> You know, uh, first I would walk by the class that she was sitting in and stare through the window, you know. So, uh, okay, so Lelo Nyembor. So he, he calls it, he's making it similar uh -huh. to a very famous uh, method for developing bodhicitta. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is called Gyunde Mengot yeah. Dun. Okay. Right. They seven mean, step uh, cause and effect yeah what he's saying here is it's a four step cause and effect yeah. okay. mm. so it's very cool he has stolen the idea of a ginde mengot and made it four okay and what are the four is depa dumbatsu or shinjang very famous okay uh, what's, what's depa here which is tangwa here tangwa faith. Faith. oh it's not it's not faith yeah. Oh, being attracted to your object? Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's attraction to something. It's uh, admiration, okay? Mm -hmm. It's thinking about the good qualities of something. So it doesn't mean faith here. It means uh, attraction. Uh, and then Dumba comes from attraction. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, wanting. You want it. Yeah. Then so. Yeah, effort. You make the effort to get it. Yeah, you, you try to ask her out, okay? And then Xinjiang. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, enjoyment, uh, mastery. Um. Yeah, mastery. Yeah, you're good at it. You already got her out, like you're kissing her in the drive-in movie, okay? So Xinjiang means, uh, what's that word? Mm, flexibility. You, know, you used Method. to say pliancy. Yeah. Rinpoche used to always say, uh, what's that uh, circus thing that just closed down? Circus Soleil. Circus Soleil. <laughs> and those guy, the guys on the... the uh, yeah, like flexible people on the... Uh, what do you call those swinging things? Trucky. Oh, yeah. yeah, what is it? Trucky. Yeah, he also he used to compare it to gymnasts who were very flexible. It means a high state of Religion. meditational flexibility. Okay. And these, and that's the, each one is the debu of the previous one. Okay. And each one is the gyu of the next one. Okay. So we finished the first four antidotes. Let's go to antidote number five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Damnak. Uh, the antidote to forgetting the instruction is remembering. And what's the other, what's the other meaning of temba that's implied here? Oh, and keeping, remembering and keeping the object. Uh, spell it D-R-E-N. Oh. Apostrophe D-R-E-N. Pulling it back. We had Nayarta. Yeah, pulling it back, uh -huh. pulling it back. Okay, so you have to, your translation has to capture both, both uh, connotations of pulling the object back to your mind or, or uh, remembering the instructions you had about the object, okay, which is the same thing. Okay, okay. but you could, you would do that with a phrase, you would, I mean, is there one word that means both? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could try. You could probably sit around the coffee shop for an hour. And uh, can you go to coffee shops yet? Uh, yeah, outside. Oh, good. Yeah. Wow, you're lucky, man. Sweet. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what's uh, antidote number six here? Who's who's uh, uh, checking him? 
Venerable Chunzom. Chingregi Nyembo de la Tope Shation. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, the antidote to mm, uh, distraction and dullness is um, a, a watchful mind or a, a you know, uh, what is it? A watchful conception? How's he using dog here? Dog, dog patient, um, watchfulness. Yeah, I love that question. I love that question. Yeah, it's uh, the f smoke alarm state of mind, which is observing them. I uh, would say observing them, yeah. Because it doesn't, it, it means noticing, detecting, okay? Uh, it, it means noticing or detecting them, okay? Parka. Yeah, yeah, detecting them or noticing them. Uh, by the way, what's the famous qualification here? It doesn't do, it doesn't actually bring you back. It doesn't actually solve the problem. It doesn't actually fix them. It right. just notices. Okay, yeah, great, Jim. Famous story about the department at your diamond company that you had log yeah. errors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> what's antidote number seven? Um, <laughs> Nyembo Numbard. Do me JP, Nyembo Nyembo Mumbar do JP, do J Sempa Tong. What's all this Nyembo Nyembo? Yeah, right. I mean, the antidote of failing to apply, or sorry, the problem of failing to apply the antidote to the problem. Oh, you know what it says? It says uh, the antidote. The, the antidote where you apply an antidote, which constitutes the antidote for not having applied an antidote. <laughs> okay, it's something like that, okay. This R, is, this R is a dainty grammar case. I'll just give you a clue, okay. Then you can figure it out after that, okay. Uh, so the antidote where you don't, the antidote for not applying, okay. as, the an, as the antidote for not applying, uh, you apply an antidote. Okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a very convoluted way to say it. All yeah. right, what's number eight? Who's uh, checking? Who's checking? Uh, let's have a Dr. Ward Smith. Wow. Ting and Zen Kyun Me Tune Pe Tse Nyambo Du Jepe Nyambor do me jp tang yom tembar chawa yembe cheer translate um the antidote for applying an antidote when good, you're good, good in uh you know, staying in meditation that doesn't have problems good perfect perfect is um Good. Yeah, let it go. Stop. Stop messing with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't yeah. have to rely on not doing anything about it. Yeah. Good. Good. Which is the uh, which is the problem for the first antidote? <laughs> but it's kind of it's a cycle. It's a circle. It's interesting. Okay. Yay. That's now, right. in my opinion, we have beefed up the set the third group of four to where it is usable by a reader. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's my goal. And, and the other groups of four, the first two groups of four, they were clear. They didn't need clarification. If you don't have a bad habit, don't start it. If you do have a bad habit, try to stop it. So they don't need beefing up. But this one, you know, aspirational miracle leg, <laughs> You know, <laughs> you get bread, you know? <laughs> oh, really? So, uh, I, yeah. in fact, when I first read it, I was a little pissed off that he didn't beef it up himself. Uh, but uh, I, I got to think he was busy or, or there was a shortage of wood, you know, mm. uh, for wood blocks. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next group. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, the bottom. Who's, who's checking? Who's checking? Uh, let's get uh, Catherine. Okay. Man, all right. Uh, hey, hey uh, Ben, try to mispronounce something because I want to see if she's really awake or not. Okay. Depa uh, Sun Gru Dranpa 
Ting Zin uh Shay Rap Ki Da Bang. Uh, good. Oh, thank you. Hey, we got Catherine <laughs> to say something. Yay. Yay. Okay. Uh, okay. So do we have an okay? I mean, um, so we got the five powers here. Yeah, and because you just finished Yoga Sutra, I know what you're gonna ask me. Um oh I, hope, I, hope. What I'm, I mean it, I, I'm gonna ask you something other than that whatever they're here. I'm gonna ask you how it overlaps with the ones we just did is what I was gonna ask you. Oh uh, no, uh I have a more interesting question. <laughs> let's let's look at 18 through 21. There's my beef up, by the way. Yeah, here's 18 through 21. Uh, is it how they have different names in the path of preparation? They're the same. They're the same oh. lift. It's the same okay. lift. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the same five. Right. But here they're called powers. And up above they're called strengths or something. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. There they're called forces, and here they're called powers. Okay, so here it's the five powers, then the same list called forces. And I think we got to clarify it for our audience. Okay, I think it would be mean to not clarify it. And what Tim said is on the right track. Okay, and we talked about it in the Yoga Sutra. What are these five, by the way, Ben, for, for our readers? Yeah. Uh, Shraddha Virya Smriti Samadhi Prajna. Um, Yay. Yay. In English. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, faith, effort, um, uh, bringing back and keeping um, uh, meditation and wisdom. Good. Now, uh, we're going to go on a little detour to get to beef up these two and to clarify the difference between them. Okay. And which, by the way, clarifies the status of the whole 37. Oh, yeah. Uh, which clarifies that they are not qualities of Buddhahood, which they are often translated as. Uh, they are qualities which head you towards Buddhahood. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to use Sinchuki uh, Gansen. Sorry about that from uh, the other monastery. Uh, uh, let's, let's read this one uh, to start. This is just a teaser, okay? okay. Who's checking? Uh, is it still? I think it should be Catherine still. Yes, let's get Catherine. Rang Lug Ni, Rang Je Pak Lam Kye Pa La Rang Wang Du Kyur Pe Kyam Ba Jung Chok So Dungi Nang Tsen Du Gyurpe Nam Changi Wong Po Tsen. This is tough. He's defining the, they're called Nam Jangi Wombo. Okay. The full name of the Wombo Nga is Nam Jangi Wombo. Okay. The five powers of enlightenment. Okay. The five powers of enlightenment. Okay. And these are a Nang Tsen of the 37. Okay, included within? These are one of the groups Members. within the 37, yeah, yep. okay. And then he defines them. Here's the definition. Rang de paklam kepa. Let's start with that. Rangi debu paklam kepa. Uh, paklam, oh, oh, rang de. Paklam, I mean, it, it's a, I'm sorry, the, the, the path of the... the uh, I like the word trigger for Kippa. I like the word trigger uh, for Kippa. Uh, okay, it's the, yeah, it's like, the, it's the path, I mean, it triggers your, the, the um, result of your uh, uh, becoming good. an artist. Yeah, good, exactly. It triggers Tonglam, basically. Okay? Yeah, right. It triggers as its own, it triggers, they trigger as their own result, 
uh, the path of the Aryas, meaning path of seeing. Okay, how do they do that? Rang Wang Du. Okay, uh, somehow independently. Okay, uh, Kemba state of mind. Okay, holy state of mind. Uh, okay, Topa Kemba same thing. Kemba is an ad is a is a synonym for a realization in the Prajnaparamita literature. Okay. So there's the definition of Wangbo. And he seems to be implying that the relevant, why we call them powers is that they are Rang Wang. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. They have some independent power <laughs> to trigger Tonglam. Okay. They have they have they have the efficacy or the power to their particular efficacy is to trigger the direct perception of emptiness and that therefore they're called powers they have that power i, I like that okay uh, i think the next sentence is very important let's go who's is it still catherine yeah, yeah let's keep catherine yeah come on make a mistake ben three minutes Keshava. i'd love to hear her say something uh, de la jang pyok so dungi nang tsen du cured paste de tok the bang bo nga yu sa sams uh tokam chung u ne uh sangye ki se par nam yod. Saying so? <laughs> Good, okay. Catherine, your microphone's off. Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, they are a nangsen of the Sodun. Okay, a group included within the seven. Within the 37 directionalizers to Buddhahood. Yeah, right. Directionalizers to Buddhahood. Okay. Right. Okay, just kidding. Okay, not. Uh, and they can't, they. He doesn't even bother to list them. He says, look, everybody knows. It's faith, etc. Okay. But then he says something very important. Sansam is a word that we had in in uh, Sugeng's text. And it means at what levels are they found? At what levels are they found? Okay. This is the sum in uh, retreat sum. Okay. At, in, inside of which districts of enlightenment or the enlightenment process, are they located? Well, you can find them on Soglam Chungu. Uh, the lower stages of the path of accumulation? Yeah, yeah, at the very beginning parts of the path of accumulation up to... Um, yeah, the level of Buddhahood. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, does that tell us something why he called this Paglam and Naktomam? He says it triggers Paglam. He didn't say triggers Tonglam. Because he wanted to make it a point that it triggers the whole, like, the whole path to become an Arya, not just the third path itself. I would say it, they, they function to trigger a direct emptiness perception at any point in the five paths. Oh. Okay. I'd say that's why he chose Paklam rather than Tonglam. Okay. So any uh -huh. like a Paklam and not the Tonglam. Good. Yeah, 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 exactly. And uh, it's, it's intriguing to me that these five are located on all five paths. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, according to him, uh, are, are we have to stop there, Nick. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I want to show you where we're going, though. Okay. We're gonna go. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, next, we're gonna we're gonna get a beautiful clarification about the next group. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to get some clarification of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay.
We're gonna beef it up a bit. Okay. Uh, stop. Right? True. Okay. No. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Good. Here we go. Sashi puki chukshing metok drum. Jirab ling shi nyan de gyan padi. Sangye shingu mik de yu argi. Jokun nam dak shing la tu par chok. Hiram guru ranamanda lakan niyatayami. Gewadi keo kun. Sanam yeshe tsok tok shing. Sanam yeshe le jung we. Thank By you. the way, when yeah. we get through this, when we finish this 37, you're done with your text. So. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Wow. Crazy. Okay. We're Thanks, getting boss. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thanks, Thanks See you guys this evening. Thank Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to oh, gonna... do the coyote.